Hi there, the purpose of this app is to enable us to choose image files and then display them in our app. We started our app by using a blank template from the app wizard. Then in the content section of our home tab, we added an ion grid component. Inside this grid we added a single ion row. Inside that row, we added a ion call with a size of 12. We changed the display of the column to be flex and also set the properties to ensure that the content of the column is centered. Inside this column, we added an ion image component. We set the height of this image component to be 200 pixels and the width to be 100% and then used an image in our assets to show as an image. Our page has a footer this time around, so inside the footer we have added a button and a file input component. We have made the button round and that it should also fill the width of the footer. The file input we will add to the footer should not be visible, so we hide it. It will be activated from a button click event. We have also ensured that the file input accepts images only. The next step for us is to create this application. This time around we will write code and not use the abstract designer. Hi there. In this code example we demonstrate how we create an app to show an image that is chosen from the system. The approach that has been used is the same across all our applications, but we have written code this time and not used the abstract designer. As usual, we have a home page, which is made of a tab with a header and a footer. We also use a grid with a row and a column, so that we can add our ion image component. In the footer we have added a button and a file input. When the footer button is clicked, it activates a click event of the file input. This then fires the change event of the file input. We then read the selected file from the file input and then display it in our image. For each component created with code, we set its properties and ensures that everything is knit together to make our user interface. As you will note in the code, we are creating a parent-child relationship between the components, just like we usually do with the wireframing application. We then run our application and see its wonders.